you are no matter how anointed you are no matter how whatever you are you can't please everyone this one is coming straight i don't know it's just coming these words are coming to me no matter how kind good loving rich generous blessed kind you are you cannot please everyone there's always going to be somebody that's not going to be happy with what you're doing if you like give everybody money somebody will say what's she feeling like why is she giving everybody money is she trying to make them feel like they are broke people some, some, somebody's going to always have something to say <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're able to pray for people everybody's getting healed everybody somebody's going to get offended because there's somebody that doesn't want everybody to get healed if you're saying all the right words every day preaching all the nice messages every somebody is going to get upset you can't please everyone when i was in nigeria one of our pastors was saying this he said in this world if you say you want to greet everybody good morning like in the morning good morning uh, no no if you say you don't want to greet anyone you just want to mind your business people will say what are you feeling like you are not approachable you are this you are not friendly this and that you know that they will say things about you that you are not this you're not that who are you feeling like why are you so arrogant why are you like this people you don't you don't like to greet anyone people will say you are like that but they say when you say okay it's time for me to greet people because i want to be more friendly you know i want to you know I, I don't want anyone to think i'm proud so anyone that passes good morning good morning mr jones good morning Annie. good morning good morning sir somebody will be like is she okay why is she just greeting everywhere like this that's so weird i think something is wrong with her she just they greeting everybody is she all right <laughs> <laughs> they say you were stuck up they say you were not friendly <laughs> now you want to come and be friendly they're saying like, say this one all mad <laughs> it's like this one is crazy <laughs> something is wrong with this one she just be here all day greeting people <laughs> she's no <laughs> and then you, you're not crazy you're just trying to do what will make them happy and they're not even happy <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god <laughs> oh my god you used to imagine it somebody just they greet everybody hello good morning hi good morning <laughs> good morning hi good morning they said, don't you have something to do? <laughs> don't you have a job? <laughs> Go get a job. What kind of thing is this? You just greeting people. Some people even like, leave me alone. Ah, what do you want from me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just greeting you. Good morning. Have a blessed day. Psy they'll say, they'll say psycho. They'll be calling you names. You can't please everyone. Just be you. Do what God tells you to do. Hallelujah. That's how life is. Jesus was so nice. Like, Jesus was so nice. But people still hated him. I think I said something like this yesterday. Like, he had no sin in him. They still call him a demon. He was so nice. Nicer than me and you. <laughs> but he had a lot of... Like he had more enemies than me and you. Jesus had the most enemies than me and you. People hated him. Do you know when they were shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! It's like a big old crowd, and not one person was saying something opposite. And all this man was doing was good, healing people, delivering people, feeding people. But the whole crowd crucify him even the silent watchers everybody crucify him 
So if they can say that about him, how about me and you? We're not even as nice as Jesus Christ. We're not even as good as him. So people, life goes on. They're going to be alright. They can say whatever they want. As long as our God is pleased with us. We are good. Hallelujah. So now what God wants me to do is to get some of you that um have have stayed away from that thing you are addicted to. Some of you said you want to install something to, and you said that you felt peace. You were able to accomplish more. I already put that on the screen, but God wants me to call a few of you on here. You tell us what you uninstalled or tell us what you did not do that you normally do and tell us how you felt. For me, the first three days when God tried to make me remove that game that I had in 2016, the first three days were very bad for me because I kept looking for it on my phone. Even when I was reading the Bible, I would still look for it on my phone. And I won't find it because I uninstalled it. The first day it was like I looked for it almost 50 times. Now you you guys, some of you are doing well. You said that you didn't miss it. I missed it. I prayed for you guys. I mean, nobody prayed for me. God just told me to do something and I did. The second day, I would look for it. The third day, I looked for it. The fourth day, I didn't remember it. But the first three days, I felt like I was going to die without it. Because I didn't have people I was calling. I wasn't preaching online because I was staying away from preaching online. And then the only thing I... Because I'm always alone, just sitting on the floor in this closet. Just alone. The closet is so small. There's no TV there. There's no radio there. There's nothing. It's just me on the floor. It's just quiet. But look where I am today. So God wants to hear from some of you that will hear what your addiction is, or what it, what what you've done so far from day one, how it impacted you, and what you were able to accomplish. So just gonna be brief, brief, brief. So I'm gonna put the link out here. Make sure you're well dressed. No noise. And you will tell me straight to the point when I'm asking you a question, okay? Because some of you, you are in the stage of, can you survive without this? Some of you are in the stage of, it's okay. Some of you are actually in the stage of denial right now. You're thinking you're fine. But you know that it's hard. Because this fasting is going to really help a lot of people. They may not see it now, but they will. Because there are some new assignments and new projects, things that God is going to be giving some of you to do. But addictions have to be out of the way. So you can give God your best and give Him all your attention and get it done. Without mistakes. Yeah. Without messing up. And you can hear God more. God said that some people don't hear Him more because there's so much noise. Some people don't hear him at all because there are so many voices speaking to them. But imagine you that have taken away TikTok. TikTok voice is not speaking to you anymore. You that have taken away Facebook. Facebook voice is not speaking to you anymore. You that have removed Instagram. Instagram voice is gone. You that have removed WhatsApp. WhatsApp voice is gone. So these were four different voices that were speaking. And now maybe you only have one more thing, text messaging. That voice is gone. So it remains one voice or two. So now you that could not hear God well before, now you can hear him. Don't you get it? You can hear him. Because there's no TikTok voice. There's no Instagram voice. There's no Facebook voice. There's no WhatsApp voice. There's no game voice. Yeah. There's no chocolate voice. There's no plantain chips voice. There's no fufu voice. There's just God's voice.
And if you're not doing anything to help yourself during this time of fasting, you're wasting your time. You're deceiving yourself. Some of you might say, oh, I'm not addicted to anything. You lie. In this time and age that we're living in, many people are addicted to this thing called their phone. Your phone. You may not be addicted to the apps, but some of you are addicted to your phone. You can't stay without this phone for one day. Why do you think God put me on YouTube? Like now, I'm watching this on my TV. There are some people that the TV will probably be the only thing they need right now. Because the phone, they're trying to find one thing and they're finding something else. So we are going to hear how people are coping. Yesterday you heard my son. And the thing is still under the seat. I don't even know how I made him put it under the seat. But I'm looking at it and I'm smiling. When I was praying yesterday, I said, Father, let there be fire. Let fire burn that thing. Whatever it's not supposed to be there. Burn it all out. So that whenever he gets it back, he will not be interested in none of those things. Alright, so let's get Kim. Oh, bless you, my darlings. This one on the left, is that? Go to the back so I can see that one. Who's on the left? How many of you are there? Okay, now I can see everybody. No, no, no. Move the phone to the one with the t-shirt a little bit. Okay, right there. Wait, now I can't see Kayla, right? Okay. Oh. oh, let me see. Maybe I can do it like this. Okay, like this is better. It's kind of far, but it's okay. All right. How you all doing today? So are you all doing the fasting? Yes. You are? This is amazing. So tell us. Hold on. It says echoing. Let me fix the echo. Okay. I think the echo is gone now. So tell us what, what um, you were addicted to and what you've done. We were addicted to phones and TVs. All of you? Yeah. yeah. Really? So you all have your phones? Yeah, we all have phones, yeah. So when you started the fast yesterday, what did you do? Um, um, my mom, we took, she took, as soon as we came home, she took away our phones and she told us to go read our three chapters. Wow. You were reading Bible? Which, which passage did you read? Um, I uh, today I wrote um, Job, 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 five chapters of Job. You did five chapters? Yeah, we all did five yeah. chapters, and she did three. How old mm -hmm. are you, sweetie? The smallest one. She's five. You did three chapters of Job. Yeah, and By she also self? last. Yeah, last night she fasted to eleven. You did clap for yourself, sweetie. That's awesome. Wow, eleven. How about you? How many? How many hours did y'all fast for? Um, um, I did mine to um, so, so 12, eleven, almost twelve hours. Almost yeah. twelve hours. Yeah, I did from um since I ate break, so it was ten fifty to eleven. Eleven. And you guys have a different now. time. Like right now, it's oh, yeah, three yeah. ten here. What so time? Like is eleven. Right six o'clock in her time. Yes, yeah, we we did it to six o'clock in your guys' time. Okay. Wow. So how how does it feel not having your phone? Tell us. It feels um we it feels good because it feels like I haven't like have you know like addicted to any games or something. Yeah. 
we're more like active together. We usually don't play together, but today we read our chapters and we were more like we were we were more active with each other. So you got you you never played together before? No, no. we were always on our phone no. till like late in the night. So everybody had their own phone and nobody plays with each other. No, sometimes. Sometimes. So so when now that there's no phone, you started playing with each other. Yeah. yeah. And then after playing, what else do you do? Um, we read. Um, we, we, we pray, pray and, and we just watch yeah, you um, until we finish our yeah. fast. So you, you don't miss your phone. Um, no. I, I wait, wait, no, everybody, don't stop looking at your mommy. Mommy, are you making them answer what you want them to answer? No, I would never do that, Apostle. Okay, but they keep looking at you. All right, who really misses their phone? I need somebody to tell me the truth here. Do you miss your phone? Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. I, now I we do are talking. Uh -huh. I don't really miss my phone. Is Please, I need them to tell me the truth. Well, uh, yeah, I, 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 do, I do miss my phone. How the, tell me how it really felt without the phone because you're used to having it. Yeah, so speak yeah. from you. Just tell yeah. me the truth. Speak the truth. So I miss my phone because I'm just used to going on it till a certain time until my mom never tells me to not get off my phone or something. So like it's very hard to like you know just stay off my phone for this long. And how does it make you feel? What do you have to do when you think of it? I'm just like, I don't have my phone. <laughs> what what am I supposed to do? With the games that I usually always play, but now it's I'm just it's alright for now. Now I'm fine. Oh, wow. Does it make you feel a little restless sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Like usually we're like we just go on our phones and we do whatever we want on there, but then now we're just like we're just stuck in what we're supposed to do. Yeah. So your mom had to hide them. Well, yeah. um, not hide no. them. Not hide them. She I put them in her room in a like a drawer. In a drawer. But mine is still here. I just go in it to read the Bible. The only time we go in it is to read the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you just read the Bible, but you don't do anything else. No. We have to give it back. To we me. have to give it straight back, back when, when we finish our chapters. When you are reading it, you're not tempted to. No. No. Not really. I don't really go on my phone that much. Oh, you're not really, you were not addicted, right, to your phone? Oh, not to a phone, it's TV. TV. Okay, so how, tell me about it. How is the TV thing going for you? Because if, if I'm not allowed on my phone, I can just go on the TV because it's still there. You can't even take it away. So you still watch TV like before? No. no it's off. It's been off. TV has been off. So how you guys yeah. watch me? No, oh, only, we, we only, only do the one in the uh, living room. That's it. So, are you guys gonna be able to continue this for twenty-one days? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Because oh. we have to obey what God says to us. So, yeah. Oh wow! So <laughs> basically, since I had the dream, what God told me, I um, I'm not really tempted to go on my phone. What What did God tell you? Tell Tell us, really. Um, do you want me to say my whole dream or just the part he told me to? No, go ahead. Whichever part you want to see here. Um, okay, so I um was on my bed and then I received a text and it said from God. So the number was four one 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 two. So basically God called me, so I called it back just in case it was like a random person person pretending it was God. So when I answered it, it was like, hello, it's me, God the lion. So I said, hello, God. And then God told me to behave and be kind. And in my dream in school, um, a massive angel spread it out its wind and said my name. Mm. So since that dream, you've changed. Yes. And I'm, I'm not disobeying what God says because I'm terrified of God. So the dream was powerful. You got a phone call. But yeah. you miss, did you miss the call and you had to call back? I called back. And how did his voice sound? It was deep and like, um, 
I don't know how to say, but like, like when it's telling me to do something, like, like was it like a familiar voice? No, I've never had the voice before. Wow! It so you're having like, powerful encounters. Go ahead, sweetie. It sounded like a like a lion's voice, like in the deep voice. Like, yeah. I am God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, so you guys, have you broken? Have you broken your fast today? Have you eaten? No. No. I've um, only ate since the morning. And I'm uh, fasting yeah. till tomorrow. Same. I fast till nine. No, I'm, I mean 11. No, 9 is 3 o'clock. I'm fasting till 11. 11 your time is what time for me? Uh, 6, six, six. o'clock for you guys. Okay. Wow. And you, you're fasting till tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're not hungry today? No. Mm. So you guys are kind of used to this fasting, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm not even well, up I'm fine because we already did the 30 days, so... We so it won't be that days. difficult, so we'll do 21 oh, wow. days. All of you did the 30 days too? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We didn't break. We just, um on school days, we just eat breakfast, eat break, and eat lunch. But when we come back home, we don't eat until sex. Until, no, until the next day. Yes. Wow. And so you guys are excited about this? Yeah, because yeah. um, we all want God to appear in our dream again. And we want to get more encounters with God. So this is going to happen because you're no longer doing all of those things you do on your phone. Yeah. Mm. So Father, appear to them. Give them encounters in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we're going we're gonna to get you guys back on again. Maybe 10 days or another. Whenever I'm calling again to see how... You're keeping up with it. Yeah, yeah. Right? God will help you. Keep yeah. reading your Bible. And you can read even... Sometimes God may tell you to read a particular story in the Bible. And yeah. it's not it's yeah. different from what I tell you to read. You can still add other stories and read. You don't have to read only what I tell you. Yeah. yeah. So if you get like a, a word, read that. And mom has to buy you guys Bibles, physical Bibles. Because well, all of you have, have we have um one here. Okay, okay. Just okay. one. Everybody needs to get their own. Okay. okay. With your name on it. Yeah. So Bibles are not expensive, right? No. No. For that much. So that everybody can have so that when you open it, you see your name on it. What what translation do you guys read a lot? Um uh, like TPT, T -P -T NLT, and Easy Translation. Yeah. Okay, so the NLT Bible will be good for all of you. Yeah. Okay. So mom will buy you all NLT Bibles, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Physical Bible. So before before the end of the fast, I want everybody to have their own. Okay. At the end of the week. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. I know Bibles are cheap. Mom, you can get them Bibles, right? By the end of, by maybe in the next couple of days. Awesome. All right, mommy, do you have something to say? Somebody can go hold the phone for mommy or she can turn it to her. <laughs> Sorry, hustle. I didn't really want to come on because it was about them. <laughs> wow. So how is it going having your kids to be so disciplined like this? Apostle, it's not easy. The only thing is like... um Your hand is covering really the screen. Sorry, the only the, the reason I'm I'm glad they're doing the fasting and they come on screen and the reason why Kayla was praying that you come on because I believe that other children has to see that uh, the addiction kids have to their phones or TV it's really bad because sometimes when I can't be bothered meaning like I don't want them to make noise in my head if they're on technology to me that is simpler now I'm understanding with this um, fasting that we do it, that's not the way to go. We even was playing cricket when you came on. We was in the park playing cricket. It's like baseball. We were playing that. So there was a like a family bonding thing going on. Yeah, yes, you know. But and um, their phone. Yeah, for the last couple of days, they didn't ask me for it. So today, 
because I wanted them to do the assignment as well with the reading. The assignment is not only when you're dancing on a video, and I made it quite clear to them. That's no, you got to do the reading as well. So Cara listened to GNT because it's easier for her to understand some of the words because she's only five. But Kayla, Kai, and Kylie. So GNT is easier than NLT? No, no, only for, for the little one who is five because she could read. It's easier for her to listen to it. But I, the thought big NLT, one, I thought NLT is easy. I, I think GNT is a bit more um, good less news. Formal. It's less formal. Like, okay. To me, a five year old could understand it better. Wow. And they've not really, they've not really troubled you at all. No, no, they didn't ask because they know my rules are possible. I'm not one of those moms that make a kid walk all over me. I don't believe in that. <laughs> they do test me. I'm not going to lie. They do test my patience. And at the moment, Kayla is being very rude. Like she answered back quite a lot. I did tell I was going to let everybody know that because I'm not one of them parents that hide my children fault like that. You know, Kayla, why are you so rude? What happened? Answer. No, no. Uh, um, like I just when mommy tell when my mom tells me something, I just answer back and I can't just you know my mom tells me something and I can't just say okay mom I'll, it's fine I'll, I'll I won't answer you back I have to say something back or I have to kiss my teeth and be rude. So, but why do you do that? I I just think I I just want my own way. That's all. But you know it's bad, but you just keep doing it. Yeah. I say sometimes, oh, I'm going to stop. I could, I'm going to try and stuff like that. But I I don't stop. I just can't stop being rude. And I, and I how truly long try. Been... Pardon? How long have you been doing this to your mom? Jeez. Um, it's gotten worse. It's gotten even worse. Um, Ages. Since, start having bad dreams, Since I started having bad dreams, it's been going even worse. Ages, 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 like years now. No, 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 no. like a couple of months. A couple of months, I've been a bit too rude, but before I was like rude. Before you were rude, but now you are too rude. Yeah. Wow, and you're having all these bad dreams, and they made it worse. Yeah, I've been having so much bad dreams. For, uh, for the past week or so, I haven't been having any dreams so far. But two weeks ago, I I had like some very bad dreams. So when you wake up from the dream, you just get it gets worse. Yeah. Um, sometimes when I wake up from a dream, I I like. Because in the dream, I get a bit mad of what they're doing to me. Then I tell my mom, oh, look what they just did to me. My mom is like. Just rebuke it. It's fine. Just rebuke it. And then I'm just like, but look what they did to me. And my mom is still saying just to rebuke it. And I'm just taking out my anger in the dream onto them. And I'm like, it's just getting even worse. Well. Put your right hand on your forehead. Just relax. All it goes fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. I command that evil spirit that is causing you to have these dreams that are not good and causing you to be rude. I command it to leave right now in the name of Jesus. I free you from every cage, every trap, every unclean spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, restore your daughter and cut off every chain that has been used to tie her. From today, you will no longer be rude. From today, no more bad dreams. And this is not just for you, even all your siblings. In Jesus' name, you are free. Amen. So we pray. God delivers, but we make efforts to catch ourselves when we're trying to, when we see ourselves doing it or about to do it, you catch yourself. Because deliverance is one thing, but we have to do our own part. Just like this um, addiction, we didn't just pray, you had to keep the phone away. Yeah. 
right? Yes. And then after a while, you will see that you're not really so. You can you can stay away from your phone because you've overcome that. So you have to try now. If if something is trying to tell you to do that, no, no, I'm not. Okay, mom. Yes, mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. All right, mommy. <laughs> What what's happening? To you? Pardon? Is a spirit? It's not really her, per se. Because if somebody's having all these bad dreams and bad dreams are bad spirits. Yes, possible. You understand? Yeah. You have to be easy on her too. Because sometimes, if a parent is too strict. I'm not strict, but I think I get a soft in my old age. A little bit soft. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be worse. I used to be worse, but I think from since no, I, I changed my life, yeah, from since I changed my life on the, and I'm on the right track, I think I got a little bit softer. Like I listen more instead of like always barking. I tend to listen more. And um, the dream that Kaya had actually really, I'm so I'm I'm thanking God so much because Kaya just changed like a U-turn. Every time she want to like give me the face of you, she goes, and she wouldn't want to because she has to. Re she remember. She said it's always in her head. She was told to behave herself and because she's very kind-hearted. You know, I know she's a very kind child, but they all could get a bit of the mouth. You know, and I'm not going to lie and sit here and think they they ain't. You know, they give it. They they do. They really do. That's why all the gray hairs is there they really do push it sometimes they do it is well the way god worked on her it's gonna work on the rest and sometimes they get it from somewhere from someone this morning my husband said that you know and i was not happy about that <laughs> <laughs> so your husband was hearing from God because God is the one telling you now. If they all have that mouth, their mom, the mom. <laughs> but Apostle, to be honest with you, I was never a rude child growing up. Never. I've I always know, had that. Why would, why would your husband say the same thing I'm saying? And your husband because knows you better. He, because he says, like, I shout. He said, sometimes I don't need to shout. I don't get angry anymore as much, but I shout, like, I wouldn't be like, oh, Kayla, stop it. My my decibel would go up quite a lot, but I'm not angry because I'm 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 trained I'm training so well to not put the anger in there. But I I shout. I watched I watched a movie about uh, some people running, and this coach, a lady, she was trying to talk to one of the parents of the of the girls that run, and that parent, that lady, always shouts at the daughter. Um, have you done the dishes? Have you done, 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 done? So she was just an angry, rude lady. So when she came to pick up the girl, the coach was like, oh, you're a bit early. Her father never comes this early. And she said, well, he has an appointment. And I said, get her. Just make sure she come on time. And the coach said, when I was in school, I had, um, I had a coach and running or something and he was always so loud and shouting and I, was, I never really liked him but i had a coach in the other thing i was doing she was so sweet and nice and i really liked her and she left when she left the woman thought about herself and when she went home her daughter was doing assignment she said have you done this she said oh uh, not yet i'm doing my homework he said go do it now he said what i'm doing so as she was doing that, she started hearing the voice of the coach. I didn't like him, but I like this one. And she said, oh, you know what? Take your time. Do it when you're done. The girl was like, huh? Because she never seen her mom like that. She was like, she said, and good job. You're doing well in school. She never compliments her. You're doing well in school. The girl was like, Just that, that one conversation that she had with that lady changed her. And she now realized that she was too hard on the daughter. And it was also affecting the, the daughter, too. 
because she thought that was the best way to go. But it wasn't really helping. So sometimes with kids, we think we are strict with this, but it will work for some, it may not work for some. The stricter we are, the more difficult they are. You understand? Yes. The stricter we are, the more... The, I just watched this movie last night. Mm -hmm. The stricter we are, the more difficult. Like me me and my son, we have like a relationship. We just, we're like friends. We just, and he's so humble, respectful, and we just understand each other. It's, it's not the way that I saw them bring up children in Africa, because I said, I'm never going to do that. I don't I don't like that way. I don't sense love in that way. It's, it's a scary way. <laughs> it's just, I don't like it. <laughs> and sometimes it will make you want to stay away from them. You understand? These children, they can be tough sometimes, but sometimes they just need a hug. And that will do it. <laughs> Kiddos. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about what I'm saying? What do you think? Um, I think, it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I think you're right. It's true. Well, your mom is so loving though, right? Yeah, yeah. we have our mom. <laughs> but sometimes your mom can be tough on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what you guys need to do is you make it easy for your mom so she's not too tough on you because sometimes you know it's not easy to take care of so many kids one sometimes can be a handful but she look at all of you so you're gonna have to help mommy so that mommy too can have more peace yeah and let's shout you see what i'm saying like like the other one that had the dream what's your name again sweetie um, Kaya. Kala? Kaya. 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 Kaya had a dream, and that's God's way of helping mom to relax when it comes to Kaya. So the rest of you need to learn from her. Right? And then mommy will never need to shout again. You understand? She will just be peaceful. Okay, my darling. You know, like you see a different side of mom now. <laughs> But if you don't if you don't do that, um it's stressful sometimes. So don't stress mommy. Okay. Right? Yeah. Sometimes you all need to even take care of your mommy. Let mommy take a break. Like make do you guys know how to cook? Make mommy breakfast or something. Oh, you know, Apostle, to be honest with you, they're pretty good in certain departments. Like I do all the laundry and cleaning and all of that, right? But so, um to make me a cup of tea, the five-year-old, she would make me a cup of tea if I have a headache. Kayla would make me breakfast. My husband is really wow. good as well. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah. They're very, to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. They do wind me up. But from since we give our life to the Lord, I think they have, we could do better. But they have, to, so I'm not going to all say they're all, you know, they have, they're really uh, loving children. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't change them in that way for anything, you know. So let them do more. And keep because they are ladies, they're learning. And also the way that you help bring them up now will help them, will structure them for their own families too. Yeah. Apostle, to be honest, I had a, a little dream the other day about you, and I was told in the dream by someone, I don't know who it was, they call me lazy. They said I don't cook, I don't clean. All I do is sit and look at you. <laughs> what was that? Like about the couple of days ago just they said you are lazy they you're said to me in the dream, i'm lazy i don't cook and i don't clean all i do is sit and look at you <laughs> but was there but is that is that the truth do you clean do you uh, cook let the kids answer my yes. mom cooks oh. every day she definitely she cleans. cleans the house <laughs> when we're not when we're at school to clean the bedroom and she is not a lazy person she's <laughs> yeah. just up on her feet like all the time all the time but like when it's fasting she doesn't cook she just but in the dream in the dream when they said that were you upset no no really it seems like i really upset someone and that is a good thing that means me did, did you rebuke them in the dream or you were just quiet 
No, I think I, um, I think I did answer back and said, well, no, I don't do these things. I, I always, I'm always doing stuff. But if I look in at a parcel, really a problem for you, then you got to deal with it. That's not my problem if you feel I'm spending time watching a parcel. So that's what they call um, the voice of accusation. That's how they accuse us in the spirit. When the devil cannot, um, cannot get you, he begins to accuse you. So what I'm hearing is, is a voice of accusation. And God is also revealing to you what they're saying about you in the spirit. But the good thing is, it's not you in real life. You're not lazy. You're clean. No, no, no. no. I'm, I, I'm a cook. I'm, I'm, I'm very good. in. I'm a good host. I'm a good housewife. You're going you're gonna to rebuke that in real life when you wake up so that the word that was spoken or will not come into the to reality. This is probably what they want to do to you as well. They want to make you lazy, not clean, but they're accusing you wrongly in the spirit. And that's what the enemy does. He's the accuser of the brethren. So you are free from that evil voice. You will never be lazy. You will, you will be who God wants you to be. And God brought you here to watch. So Father, even as she's watching, use her for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Many of you, I don't even know you guys. You guys found my video or somebody referred you. But God is the one who kept you watching. Yes. And is helping you and your family. Yes. Otherwise, by now, you probably be watching something else or... But it's a season. This is a season to watch. And it's not like you're not doing other things as you're watching. You're still able to function. I'm sure sometimes when you're cleaning, you're watching and cleaning. Oh, yes. It's on. And if I could put it on in three places, it's in three places. Yeah. So it's not really getting in the way of anything. And if you're really busy, you always can come back later and catch up. But, yeah, but, we, oh, I have my AirPods on if I'm going to take the kids to school or something like that. I'm still having it on. It is well, but you are free. But that's a voice of accusation, and that's the enemy, the devil, that is an accuser. Like I, it's similar to the dream that I had, where this guy was speaking nonsense about me, saying I'm this and that. But in my dream, I was angry at him, and I was, I was. I was just talking back in a very angry way. And then the last thing I said is, I will mess you up. Because mine is something they had already said a long time ago. But in the real life, and I even checked the message that I, the last message that I messaged this particular person, 